Well, joining me now in the studio, I have public affairs analyst and member of the All Progressive Congress, Nii Saliu. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. All right. Uh, let me get your third on the submission of the PC Presidential Campaign Council, saying that it is actually the Arise TV that tried bullying the presidential candidate Ahmed uh, Bolat Tunubu. Well, uh, all candidates contesting an election have their schedules. And that of the presidential candidate of the APC is well published. He's reviewed it and published it to all medium, media. The Arise TV and their counterparts in the media all have the timetable of the APC presidential candidate. Mm. They know when to fix. If you want to get him to participate in a program, you look at the timetable and fix an appropriate time for him. Ashwaju is running a presidential campaign that is covering the entire 36 states of the Federation. He also has scheduled something for international, to, uh, an international engagement during the period. That is the first thing. The second thing is, it is duty of the Arise uh, family to guarantee everyone that has been invited to uh, their, their platform to participate in a program. It is their duty to guarantee them the confidence that they need to derive to enable them trust in the platform to want to come. Hmm. Ashwaju's argument and the spokespeople for Ashwaju are contending that they don't have confidence, one, in the capacity of the Arai Sandlers to conduct a proper and trusted tunnel uh, 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 program between Ashwaju and other candidates. And Ashwaju has a duty to protect himself mm. from such embarrassment. You don't walk into a trap. This is politics. And you have information, the published one and the one that you co will come through other, other sources. So it is the candidate that will have the insight to determine that doesn't want to walk into a trap. And that has been laid out. Mm. Three, there's no need for the uh, you know, back and forth, acquisitions here and there. If a rise, he who must come to equity must come with clean hands. If they are sure and they are certain. Look, they have had to apologize to Ashwaju on one of the several you know, inf information that they have pushed to the public domain that are false. They are a very big platform. They need to verify information that they push to the public domain. If you say you are uh, a, a, a media platform and you want to be seen as you know, fighting for the cause of the people, you must do that right. with the conscience of the people too. Bearing in mind that whatever decisions you take, whatever information you put out, mm. people will use it. And you must not seek to embarrass a particular candidate. Of course, just like uh, you, you mentioned, some are saying you don't, you don't force a candidate to go where he does not feel safe or comfortable. But some are also saying no debate, no vote. What's your stand on no, this? No, Ashwaju has never said he won't participate. In, he will participate in debates. He is conducting campaigns all over the nation. So a man that is facing thousands, sometimes millions, Will not. Ashwaju has been conducting political business in this country since, you know, the third republic. He was governor of this state for eight years. He's done. He's been, he campaigned practically for Buhari. So that kind of man cannot be said to be, you know, shying away from uh, 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 debates or town hall meetings. He's conducted town hall meetings of, of his own. He had one in Lagos. He had another one somewhere in the north. So what he's saying is that create an enabling environment, create a level playing ground, mm. and I will be there. But at this point, there is a, what I would call a mutual dis distrust between the APC family and Arise TV, particularly because of the conduct of Arise TV over a long period. All right, lastly on this topic, what do you think the media should do to, you know, to ensure credibility, transparency, and as well accountability? The media on a continuous basis they have a duty to guarantee. It's not just the media that the Constitution has protected. The Constitution has also protected the people too. Even candidates, there are also people that have been protected by the Constitution. They have rights that they can, they can, they won't sleep on their rights because they are contesting an election. They need to be guaranteed on a continuous basis that they are not walking into a trap. 
they are going to a debate because it has been properly organized. Ashwadu is a prim and proper person. If something is not properly organized, he knows. If, there's, if someone is seeking to embarrass him, he will get the information and he will, of course, take precaution. So they need to come to equity with clients. They need to show everyone. They need to build confidence. And they need to adhere to the tenet, the basic tenet of their profession. All right, Neye, thank you for so much for your contribution so far. But right now, we will take a short break. And news week continues in a moment. Stay with us.